Hi there everyone, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to record your keyboard, mouse or controller input and then play it back, particularly focusing on the game Rocket League. Now I'm using Rocket League as my example because I also want to show the limitation of this software, which is in Rocket League you have five different places your car can start off. If you're recording at position number one and the replay is starting at position number three for example, you're not going to get the same type of playback. So this works better for software or games where you don't have differences in starting position, where the options are located, or how the enemies attack. Now I've already uploaded two videos on this software, one showing you how it generally works and another one showing you an example, particularly automating an upload to YouTube. So I'm not going to show you exactly again how the software works, how to install it, download it, all of that. I will put in the description the download link as well as previous videos of mine and you can just check it there. So if I click on record, you'll see that if I move the mouse and stop here, it takes the initial coordinates and then says, okay, these were the final coordinates. So it just moved from the initial to the final coordinates. Then you'll also see there's a waiting time. So you'll see I'm doing nothing now, but if I move it, the waiting time is done. It's essentially telling the software that, hey, after you've done this mouse move, mouse movement, move, wait uh, 1.2 seconds, and then you can continue further. If I also press various strings on the keyboard, you can see it registers the keystrokes. So I'm gonna stop this, as I've shown that simple example now. What I'm gonna do next is again, click on record. I'm gonna right click, go into Rocket League, and then in Rocket League, I'll explain the rest further. Okay, so the game has been loaded and I'm gonna wait here a little while before I click anything or do anything. The reason for that is because during the replay section, the game could take a little bit longer to um, load in, for example. And if I am too quick with pressing buttons and moving the mouse, it might not fully register it or it might be premature and clicking and moving and all of that and I'm not gonna get a good playback. So that should be long enough. and. It's better to use the keyboard as much as possible. Even though you can use the mouse, the problem is that if you move it too quick and you click on stuff, next time you replay it, and there might be some issues and you end up getting wrong things clicked and all of that. So try to use your mouse, uh, your keyboard, sorry, as much as possible. I'm gonna click on play, go to training, then go to free play, and then say accept. Now inside the game, I actually have to use the mouse to move around and use the boost and jump and all of that. So you'll see there are um, different starting positions. If I scroll this goal now, you can see it's going to be a different starting position for the car. So because there are so many different starting positions, you're not necessarily guaranteed that, that when you replay it, it's going to start in the exact same position. So replaying might not look as, as great so i'm just moving around and playing around in general and yeah let's just see sorry if i'm if i look terrible at this game i don't play with the keeper and mouse this game ever so i just stick to a controller Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna stop the, uh, the recording now and then if I press escape, um, it's gonna leave the game and stop the recording of the input. All right, so the recording is finished and you can see that there's a whole bunch of actions available. Now what's important is these waiting times. So you'll see that it took a whole bunch of seconds actually, particularly here, uh, it was around a 31 second wait before it actually went into the game. And then I waited an additional around 17 seconds before I did anything or while I was talking and all of that. So um, you should actually play around with this waiting time, maybe increase it depending on how you see the playback is going. So I'm gonna click on play and then we'll see what we end up getting. Remember, we're not gonna necessarily get the same thing back, it's depending on the starting position of the game. All right, so in a bit of time, you're gonna start seeing how I'm gonna go into the game and 
click around and press around on stuff. Okay. So, so far it's moving exactly the way I wanted it to. That's all that's good. Let's see, sorting position is not the same. So what I'm gonna end up getting is gonna be completely different. Now, if the sorting position was exactly the same, I was gonna get a different type of thing happening. So you see limitation of the software, but it's very promising when you look at examples that are not like this. Unfortunately, I don't actually have games at the moment that I can show you where it will work really well. And since I've already done a video showing you the YouTube example, which is a lot easier, you can imagine what would happen if you were to implement this on Photoshop or Word or just a simple internet browser. So you can take the concept further and see what would happen if you decide to implement it in a um, in whatever video game you're playing. All right. So um, if you want to be able to record your controller input, unfortunately, you're gonna have to also install an additional software called Joy to Key. What Joy to Key does is it converts your controller input to a keyboard and mouse input, and that is what's needed for macro recording. So you just go to this link, I'll put it in the description, say download now. And when the download has finished, I'll show you what to do after that. So let's click on this, we'll say run. And you accept the agreement. Next, I'm not gonna create a shortcut. Install, say next, and you just launch it. Now, since I've done this before, I've assigned my keys before, if you didn't do it, what would happen is this is essentially what you would be seeing. Profile one and all the buttons have been set to none. So the nice thing you can do in this software, if you press a certain button, let's say uh, the left button, you'll see it gets highlighted and you can assign it by just double clicking on it and then changing the value in this box or if it's a mouse function just click on if it's left or right click middle click or if it's a mouse up and down movement and you can choose the speed and all of that now what's important to do is you need to change um, in joy to key your controller input to the keyboard and mouse input exactly as it is in the game because essentially what this software is going to do is that it's going to convert all of these controller buttons into keyboard buttons and those keyboard buttons are going to be read by macro recorder and that's going to be then put into the game so if you assign the wrong buttons let's say in this case if i press double uh, up and it's w and you decided to assign it as u it's not going to do anything in the game the car is not going to move forward so make sure that you assign that correctly. You can easily find that information online for your game. And then if you go into macro recorder, I delete all of this quickly, and click on the record button, you'll see that when I do stuff, like move the right joystick or click on certain buttons, it actually registers and it's different keystrokes or mouse movements. Now, um, I'll quickly show you how it looks inside the game, but I'm not gonna play it back. Just how it would, uh, what's the advantages and some nuisances I've seen with this. Let's say record. And we go into the game. Now, since I did not assign the uh, D-pad, um, directional buttons to the up down left right buttons on the keyboard I'm gonna just stick to using the controller mouse to move around so uh, there we go. okay now you'll see in a moment the nuisance I'm talking about not only is um, 
not only are the buttons being converted by joy to key but they're also being used in the game so you'll see that if i sometimes do or want to do some sharp turns it uh, and then quickly recover it also presses it on the keyboard so i end up messing it up but i think this is at least something that you can um, easily get used to um, if you do this as well. so it's not that much of a problem you also see that if you're not pressing anything that um, oh well, let's say I'm pressing on the controller on the left side you'll see that it is registering it as your controller input telling you what to press and what to do where if the moment I press uh, or it's levered it goes back to the keyboard input and that's not something I usually see happening um, in Rocket League when I play without a joy to keep. So there could be other annoyances based on the game you're playing. I would say probably for the best experience possible, um, just stick to a keyboard and mouse wherever possible. Otherwise, um, either try and find a different software. This is just this is the first one I found, but there might be better ones available. Or just learn to work with them. Anyways, I'm gonna stop it there and I've left this area and the recording is finished and I'm gonna stop this video here as well. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time.